Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we are going to take another look on the laptop that I reviewed six months ago. It was a brandless laptop, which I bought from Ingenious, or you can also buy this online at Lazada, or I think it's in Shopee. I'm not sure about in Shopee though. Now in this video, we are going to test it out. What's the capability of the laptop? Um, can it run AutoCAD? Can it run like some AAA games or can it run some simple games? I'm going to show it to you guys here since there's a lot of comments on that video which they are very curious if this one can run Valorant, um, Dota or League of Legends. So I'm going to test it out here and hopefully you'll be able to decide if you really want to buy this laptop. Some are also asking what's the quality like if it's still alive after six months. Yes, of course it is still alive. I'm still using it. I've been using it for about six months now but I'm not using it for games though. I'm using it for my like light works like documents, AutoCADs, uh, very light works. I don't usually do 3D architectural on this one. And for games, well, I don't really play games on a laptop. I really prefer to play games on a desktop PC or a PS4. All right, so let's test it out and let's take a look at the results. Now, before we start, be sure to plug in the laptop into a charging mode so that it can give the highest performance that it can give. Now I am using a portable SSD for the storage for the games and the softwares since this one only has 1 to 8 of storage space. Now this is one thing that I've noticed um, after using it for about a couple of months. There is some kind of paper there which is not really that noticeable. should be fine. And also there will be some light bleeding here. For me it's not really that bad. It's very normal for like this kind of Laptops, even branded laptops have this light bleeding at the edge. Now, let's go start with AutoCAD. We will try to open a CAD sample that I have here. And whenever you open something like games or softwares, you can definitely hear the blowers down below here. You can just hear some noise, you know, to cool down the CPU while it's working. Now for AutoCAD, there's really no problem. Uh, you can definitely work on this very smoothly. You can scroll very smoothly so autocad is not a problem so let's move on to another program how about let's go for valorant now i'm currently running uh, valorant it's a game from riot now let's go for the settings and let's see if what the setting is like for this game now for the resolution it's 1080p with a 144 hertz which i don't think we need to put it on a 144 hertz so let's try to max fps always at 60 frames per second which is good that will help the performance now for the graphics quality let's go for all low since i'm not really expecting this laptop to have like very good gpu for this kind of games so i've turned on the bloom here vsync turned off all right so let's try to start a game match found now for the speakers, don't expect much from it. It's not really good. Most of the laptop speakers are not really that good. So let's try to pick a character. Not really, I don't know anything about this game. Alright, so let's try to pick some characters to show the animations and let's see if uh, it is capable of it. It seems to be doing fine as of the moment. How about we choose this one? Oh, let's go. All right, so it seems to be working properly. You can buy some few stuff. You can shoot. And how about we try if there's some enemies or some power effects going on? I'm not really sure how to play this game. Okay. Oh. Oh. I think it's playable. The graphics is low, but I think it's very playable. Now let's go for round two. Now let's choose some machine guns, rifles. There's some rifles here. All right. Oh, so you can definitely play Valorant on this laptop here. Ooh, nice. 
Nice. Oh look, I'm actually defusing the thing. Yeah, we won! <laughs> Clutch! Alright, so let's finish this. Now, how about we move on to another program? Now this time, let's try to play Dragon Ball. It's a fighting game. Alright, so let's just go to the training to see if it's capable. Now this game shouldn't be too heavy. Well, there's a bit of lag on it, but we can definitely adjust that on the settings. Since the graphic settings is set to high. Now let's try to lower down the graphic settings and see if it helps. Now currently it's set to high. How about we set it to medium and full screen. Uh, it's definitely much more better much better now the graphics is not really that different but the the smoothness of the gameplay is now much more better uh, so you can definitely play Dragon Ball on this laptop here Alright, so now let's move on to another program. So now we're opening up League of Legends. Uh, let's see if this one can play a League of Legends game. Alright, so let's try to play a game. Let's just go for the AI since we're here for the graphics. Alright, so we are now at the game at 1080p. So you can see here we have the resolution of 1080p full screen. As for the character quality, it's very high, medium, 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 and we Set the frame rate cap to 60 frames per second. Since this laptop is a 144Hz FPS, then it's capable of that. But I don't think the GPU is capable of that graphics. So we set the cap to 60 frames per second. And let's try it out. Alright. I think the graphics should be okay. And uh, the frame rate should be fine. It's very playable. It's running at 60 frames per second as of the moment. And there's no not much effects on the screen which is pretty good now league of legends uh, should be very playable on this laptop here all right so i won't finish the game since this is only a custom lobby now this laptop is definitely capable of playing league of legends just don't set the graphics too high and let's move on to another program now we are going to test a game called apex legend it's quite a heavy game so let's try it out if this laptop is capable of playing this game now for the settings i've set it to very low so as you can see here i've set it to low none um, texture streaming budget to none anti-aliasing none Disabled all the VSync, uh, disabled the VSync and the details to low, low, disabled and low. So this game will definitely not look good. And let's just try to do a training, the firing range. Let's go for the firing range. Now Apex Legend game is a free game. You can download it at EA Origins. Check that out. It's a very cool game. It's a battle royale game. Alright, so let's test it out. As you can see here, it's very very laggy. Um, the frame rate is very... It's not playable anymore. And let's try to run. Yeah, definitely not playable. So Apex Legend is definitely a big no for this laptop. So let's move on to another program. All right, so now we are currently playing the Genshin Impact. Now we are gonna choose which character. I think let's choose the girl. She's pretty. Let's name her Buzzy. That's a very girly name. Don't you agree? Oh, 
Um, now there's a bit of loss of the FPS here, but it's very playable. How about we go to the options and let's check out the video settings. Maybe this is the reason it's running at 30 frames only. So let's go for 60 frames and VSync on. Let's leave this on low and turn on the motion blur. High, let's set it to high. Reflection on, because that's quite important. Crowd density, let's set it to low. So let's try it out again. Okay, so the motion blur is quite heavy. So let's lower down the motion blur. Low and Let's try it again. Now that should be very, very playable. I think it's running about 40 frames per second to 60 frames per second. It depends. We can definitely lower it down more, the graphics. Uh, the reflection, let's turn it off. And the motion blur, let's turn it off too. All right, let's try it again. I should be doing fine now. Now it's very playable. So Jinshin Impact is a playable game here on this laptop. All right, so let's move on to another game. This is the last game that we will try. And it's the game called Dota. Now this game, it's quite heavy. So I think it's much more heavier than the League of Legends. So let's just try this out. Now we are currently testing the game called Dota. Currently in the lobby, it's having a 46 frames per second. So let's try to play a game with AI bots. And let's see if it's playable on this laptop here. All right, so let's choose a character. Um, how about we choose the sniper here? Let's go ahead, skip ahead. Now for the settings, for the video settings of this, I'll show you here. This is a custom settings, so I set it to medium, all of it. The render quality to 70%, you can actually adjust this, but I set it to 70% for now. Now it's on 1080p, it's an exclusive full screen. All right, so let's test it out. Let's buy some shoes so that we can run faster. Oh no, I forgot I already bought some stuff here. So it's it's playable uh, the graphics is not really that you know it's not high but it's very playable the effects is also quite good let's go try shooting some enemies it's very playable it's not lagging a lot it's very playable now you can definitely play Zoda on this laptop here All right, so I think that's about it. Now, there you go. This is the laptop that I've just bought six months ago, and it's still currently working right now. I have no problems with it. I haven't really encountered any problems with it. I think the only minor problem that I have, it's very hot. The temperature rise like very high, which is, I think it's very normal for this kind of laptops because the blowers of this kind of laptops are just on the bottom part here, which I do recommend buying some laptop coolers if you're planning on playing games on this laptop now as i've said before uh, the downside of this laptop is the web camera it's not really that good it's usable but it's not really that good so it's really better to buy an external camera for that now for the games now if you're gonna play a game be sure that the laptop is plugged in and it's charging so that it can give you the highest performance that it has and also be sure to close all the background applications that you're running um, since this laptop is not really a gaming type of laptop, it will be better if you close all the browsers or all the applications that's running if you're planning to play a game. So I didn't use a Streamlabs or a OBS screen recorder while playing a game because it's also going to take a lot of CPU or a GPU. It depends on the settings that you're going to choose for the screen recording. Because when we are going to record using those applications, it's going to lower the performance of the laptop. 
Now you can also lower the resolution of the games that you're playing so that it can also boost the performance of the frame rate for each game that you're playing. All right, so I think that's about it, guys. Uh, I hope you find this very helpful. This is the answer for all the comments um, for my previous video about the reviews of this laptop, if it's working, if it's capable of games. I hope you really find this video very helpful. Now, if you have any suggestions on any laptops that you want me to review, just drop it down on the comments below. And you can also check out the review of this laptop over here. Just click that link over here. All right, so thank you for watching, guys. Um, all the product links are on the description below. If you like this video, kindly press that like button down below. It will help this video a lot. And if you want to support my channel, you can always subscribe. Thank you again for watching. I'm Clea Buzz, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.